<laughs> Have it. Welcome back to SinCityBounty.com, the new, the improved, and the ever luscious trio of chicks. <laughs> Welcome back, bitches. Well, so far, it's just a duo. Our trio. So we have to. We have to grab our, our trio here. Yeah, she's over there fiddling around with the electronics. We have to set the sound. This camera is much better than before. Well, so here's the deal with our cameras. So we used to use a camera like this, and then that camera died. And so then we were using my crappy camera. So we're back to a nice camera again. Awesome. Awesome. So now we have our, Ta-da! our trio. Yay! <laughs> you stole my fucking chair, bitch. I did? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my bad. I'm back. Bitches. I'm back. Motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, I can see why you would need a... Yeah, stool right? Your... It's hard. I can see why you would need a stool. I'm sliding. There goes my butt. <laughs> Drop your chair down a little. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Too much technical stuff. This is uh, what happens when you have a show before you. Yeah. And you can only... Uh, get five minutes of setup get time. Get five minutes of setup time, yeah. Although, Actually, to be honest, we did pretty goddamn good in five minutes. We did. Uh... Uh, Sierra here ran down to her uh, car to get the audio cord involved. so there we was, could be on Ustream for you guys. It was quick walking, no running. Sprint. Um, we can't. Light sprint. Was, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Yay! Inaugural show? Surprise already. Yay! Look at this! I love the idea. I love the idea of surprise guests. Did you make this happen for me? Well, uh, Andy here stopped in earlier and was very excited that we were again starting the show and wanted to surprise you two ladies. Because he's been such a big fan of you guys forever. (gasps) And we're fans of his. We are fans of his. Some of us have crushes on on him. Thank you. So why don't you give a quick introduction of Andy and who he is and what he does and... So this, everyone, is the infamous Andy Martello. He infamous. is infamous. He is a comedian, a juggler. I can't remember if you're a juggler who does comedy or a comedian who happens to juggle. A uh, comedian who happens to juggle, All yes. Right, there we go. Uh, he's also a writer. Everything. For, you haven't written any fiction yet, though, have you? Uh, yes and no. I mean, nothing. I haven't published anything uh, fiction-wise, but there, there, there are some fiction pieces that sooner or later will hear the light of it. An award-winning author at that. Your uh, El Rey Club book has won how many awards now? Uh, 13 awards. 13, 13 awards. awards. It, it just celebrated its two-year anniversary yesterday. Woo-hoo. And uh, your book of poetry, your chat book, as the people in the business call it? I guess that's what they call it. Yeah, yes, Pretty Words, it. Nothing More. Uh, that has won, let me think, let me carry the two. No awards. None <laughs> whatsoever. None. But have yes, you submitted it yes. to any writing yes, awards? Uh, only one or two. I really, you know, I, I've kind of been, I'm going to wait till the deluxe edition of that book comes out and then I'll go ahead and submit that somewhere. Then I'll feel better about it. Nice. Yes. And uh, he also does lots of other just announcing work and uh, sponsorship work and stuff like that, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Whoever's whoever's paying the bills, that's where I go. I, I, I look at it as misplacing my paycheck. I wake up and I go, where the heck did I leave my – oh, it must be in Butte, Montana this week, so I go there. <laughs> you were with The Price is Right. Yes. And you went uh, on tour with them. Yep. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, one of the three ladies here came to see me when I was in, in Laughlin, Nevada. Uh, with the prices right, and the other two said, "To hell with you, Andy. We don't want to go. <laughs> we're not driving an hour and a half." Yeah, we're not doing that. We the can't other, go. The other one was in California at a soccer tournament and was very jealous I'm that sure. one of the other two got to go. Pretty, pretty sure that the soccer tournament was lame. You should have come see me. <laughs> But yes, yeah. In fact, I'll be going on tour with Prices Right Live again uh, starting January 26th. So coming up right around Woo-hoo! the corner. How yeah. long is this leg of this tour? Uh, it's it's kind of broken up. I'll do five weeks, then I have the last three weeks of March off, and then another five, maybe six weeks. So uh, that then then we then we're kind of off for the summer, and uh, back at it again in September. Another. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a good time. You gonna stick around for the whole hour? Or? Sure, I got nothing to do. So um, I, I came, I came straight from getting laid. So I thought I, I think <laughs> this is the this is the perfect time to come here because because you know I, I, I'm completely all, I'm all sated. I have uh, you can you can ask me all the dirty questions you want and I'll be like I got the answer ready. 
<laughs> That's awesome. I did that just 10 minutes ago. Just 10 so, minutes ago. Let's talk a little bit about the reintroduction of Sin City Bounty. So welcome we, back, yes. But welcome back. You. What a thank happy you. new thank year you. when Sin City Bounty is back in this lovely studio. Woo-hoo. So um, you guys stopped doing shows about how long ago? Like back in June? No, end of July. End of July. So it's been six months or so, a uh-huh. little bit more. And um, I saw the Sin City Bounty just kind of like floundering. <laughs> Every now and then there was a post and I was like... Oh my gosh, we can't let Sin City Bounty go. It was derived from something so awesome, and I wanted to continue that. I'm a huge fan of storytelling, which is what we do. Sure. Uh, what what the show's premise was was the stories that we uh, we had when we were doing sexcapades, but then it evolved into stories about people's lives and their sexcapades. Um, but I wanted to make it a little bit more serious. So when I approached the two girls who were the last ones to be doing it, I said, "Let's bring the show back." Let's change it from three long grinding hours, long hours back to one. So we, we have to put everything in and let's cover stories that affect our lives as well as personal stories and stories of people like Andy Martello and his sex life, which we'll cover. We'll oh, cover. Well, you're going to need the three hour show. <laughs> Um, uh-huh. and, and thankfully, 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 after much begging, the girls said, yes, let's do this. But let's be honest here. Only one of us had to be badgered into doing this show again. <laughs> and it was a badgering, by the way. <laughs> there was much digging in of heels and I don't want it. There was lots of But we're very glad that you're back. Well, thank you. Because you're one of the most uh, intelligent people that I know. So if we're going to do a <laughs> show about... Uh, you current get out more. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> if we're gonna do a show about current stories, well, n- maybe maybe intelligent is not the word. Um, her, your views That's and opinions are slightly reflected. slightly different than mine, which is good, which uh, causes great discussions. So you're you're a libertarian crazy ass. Uh, in that chair, <laughs> my very liberal Democratic ass in this I'm, chair. I'm bookended by two liberal progressive Democrats. <laughs> it's really bookended by people who want the world to go forward into a good place. And then there's yes, you. yeah, and then there's her. So. I don't mind the world going forward into a good place as long as I can smoke pot, have sex with other with the same sex people, and have my guns. Like how much? <laughs> how hard is that? If you have the guns, you can force the other two things to happen very true hey. yeah, it's, then, it's not that hard to do i mean then i'll start my own yeehaw yeah so. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that later anyway so we are back and um we're we're all very excited even the one that i had to twist her arm quite a bit we're very excited about what we're going to be doing uh one of the first uh, we're going to cover uh current news stories get your opinions on them we're going to talk about them they're funny as hell because some of this stuff you can't make up Right? Like affluent guy. Affluenza. Affluenza. Oh my gosh. So, uh, I'm going to do a quick sweep through uh, this last week's news, and then we're going to go into some, uh, we're going to do curse word of the week, which uh, falls under the parameter of Sierra, who is one of the best Kirkshires that I know. She comes Mm -hmm. up with some of the greatest stuff. So, very, very quickly, um, let's see. Nothing happened. All right, everyone say cunt. (laughs) Cunt! There we go. Uh, There were... uh, The one word I don't say. I know. (laughs) There has been... uh, Grow up. Throughout the last few weeks, there has been uh, a lot more attacks on mosques. In Texas, uh, there was uh, a mosque that was set on fire, which authorities say was set intentionally in... uh, I'm sorry, in, in Texas... In California, Molotov cocktails were thrown at a mosque once... These vandals also wrapped bacon around the handles. This just goes to show you that even in California, people can be assholes. That's right. Right. But it also shows you that if they're willing to set a mosque on fire and wrap it in bacon, they are willing to eat meat. (laughs) A lot of Californians are are closet meat eaters. True, true, true. Because bacon, you can't eat that raw. You have to set a mosque on fire and cook it on the doorknob. Uh, there were there were uh, heat records broken on Christmas Day across the East Coast from Maine to Florida. Um, on Christmas Eve, the thermometer topped a record breaking 70 degrees in New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. Would anyone like to know what the temperature was in Las Vegas? 45. We had snow. I went out at 1 a.m., and my daughter, I woke her up, and she was 
playing in the snow like she was running around yeah. catching it it dancing. will be uh it will be hotter and this is true you can look it up it will be hotter in the north pole tomorrow than it will be in california arizona nevada and new mexico well that's because of al gore <laughs> yeah because none of that's actually happening no, I thought now al gore it's invented always the warmer we invented that and global warming. Okay. Right. And then, of course, uh, to go along with the story of the high uh, heat record, um, there's also been unprecedented flooding, not only here in the U.S., uh, in Missouri, where I think 24 people were killed, but England has, uh, uh, the prime minister there has deployed 500 soldiers to address unprecedented flooding. Fifteen. It was a little over 1,500 homes were completely washed away in the U.K. A bar, or a pub as it's called across the pond, uh, that had been there for like 300 years, just gone. Nice. I, 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 I cried for the pub. Um, also, I cried for the alcohol I, lost inside the pub. <laughs> Serious party foul. Also this week, uh, there will be no charges filed in the fatal shooting of the 12-year-old African-American boy, Tamir Rice. Um, he was playing uh, on November 22nd in 2014, which was a year ago. He was playing with his toy pellet gun in the park. A 911 call reported uh, him playing with a weapon, but said it was probably fake and it was probably a juvenile. But that was not relayed to the responding officers. After two seconds, Officer Timothy Loman shot him, uh, and neither him nor his partner administered first aid to save his life. So that was a huge that's, uh, thing that happened this last week. No files charged. No, no files charged. That that's a nomination no, charges, for charges, epic charges file. filed. Yes, right. yes. Epic fail of 2014, right there. And and there's countless stories. 2015. That go, 2015. Well, the shooting happened in 2014. Right. There's but, no uh, conviction in 2015. Right. Uh, we're gonna skip that one for later. We're gonna skip that one for later. Skip that one for later. Oh, look at all. This whole page is for later. All right. Later. Lots of later. Yeah, we have uh, some stories we want to go We're in We're procrastinators. Depth on. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, you only have 45 minutes left. Technically, yeah. like 40. Really. After this, we go to Procrastinators Anonymous. It's All right. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General Joe Campbell, says that he may seek additional U.S. troops amid what he is call what he calls a deteriorating security situation. Um, he's called uh, the current number of 9,800 U.S. troops stationed at, at, in Afghanistan to be maintained for as long as possible, but that he may ask for more troops. I believe that we should just cut our losses and run. Unfortunately, when that happened back in the 80s, we ended up with al-Qaeda, and then we got bombed in 9-11. So I'm not sure what to do about this situation. A, we either pull out and let them kill each other, or B, we nuke them. <laughs> I think those are our options, really. Wow, those are pretty strong options. <laughs> Pull out, leave them be, or nuke them. Yes. Okay. I mean, one 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 way might end up with another Al Qaeda. The other way, we're getting parking for Disneyland France. We have so. we have Daesh, also known as ISIS. Also known as ISIL. ISIL. That's what the president calls it. ISIL. It's the only thing the president and I agree on about ISIL. Besides is calling him calling them ISIL instead right. of ISIS. Right. ISIS is an Egyptian goddess. Um can we all agree that pulling out is actually great? Yes. <laughs> I love pulling out. You know, I have to tell you, so I'm sitting here like in my mind and I'm like Somebody I'm say not it. gonna say it. Come on. <laughs> I won't <laughs> say it. Thank God Andy's here. You know, He'll go and, there. And I'm a big fan of condoms. So whatever we can <laughs> find to wrap the troops in. That, that is the first time I've ever actually heard that phrase. I'm a big fan of condoms. I don't know anyone who likes them. They're they are they are a necessary evil. But they I don't are, know anyone who they likes are necessary, them. that's right. Well, I mean, there are some people who really get off on that. Uh, we've heard stories. I, oh, I'm sure. So, yeah. Gee, there are good boys. There's there's a fetish for every freak, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Um, in the win category, maybe, the World Health Organization has declared Guinea free of Ebola 42 days after the last person tested negative. <laughs> so, oh. Ebola free. Well, we got that. So uh, we can all start booking our trips to Guinea. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Can't wait to go to Guinea. <laughs> uh, Puerto Rican Governor uh, Alejandro Garcia Padilla has confirmed the Commonwealth, who is now Commonwealth of the United States, will default on some of its scheduled debt repayment on uh on January 1st. Oh, no one's surprised oh. there. Yeah. We're always uh, helping people. Yes, we spend all of our money that we have had loaned to us by other countries to help <laughs> other countries. <laughs> that's right. Which is fine. I mean, it's not no. our money. That's right. Nothing, <laughs> that's right. nothing wrong with ours. that at all. I'm like, time to pay your bills, everybody. Raise the debt ceiling. 
Uh, one of the I wish my credit card company would do that. Your bill is due. Can I just get more credit? Sure. <laughs> oh, they do that though. Yeah. I just my my dis- I haven't used my Discover card in six years, and now I'm up to like sixty nine hundred bucks. No, no, no. Like, what the U- government is doing is the equivalent of maxing their credit card out and then calling the credit card company and saying we can't pay you, but will you give us more credit? And they're like, sure, why not? Yeah, well, of course, because we have all the stuff. One of the biggest stories that I'm following is uh, Flint, Michigan. Oh, their government uh, switched over to getting water from the river mm. instead of buying it from Detroit to save money. And now they have poisoned all the kids with lead poisoning because they're not filtering the water before they do so. And while there has uh, now there is finally an apology from the government. <laughs> lead poisoning. Uh, Sorry. Still no, there is still no resolution to whether Flint, Michigan will get clean drinking water or not. There is a resolution. Arrowhead is making billions of there, dollars you in know Flint, what? Michigan uh, right now. There is a woman by the name of Lenise. I heard her on the news today. I can't remember her last name, but she has been – she's online. You can go there and find um, how you can donate and help. She gave out the just this last weekend like 500,000 bottles of water. So – we lost video. Oh no! no. My, uh, my 